will be an afternoon of hands-on learning at the upcoming Harvest Open House hosted by the University of Illinois Department of Crop Sciences. And here from the university are Dr. Adam Davis and Dr. Jennifer Nelson. We're happy to have both of you. Okay, so exciting things happening in your department there at the U of I. Let's learn, first of all, a little bit about the crop sciences and what you guys are all about there. Great. Um, we are about making agriculture more productive, profitable, and environmentally sound. And now, in order to kind of share your mission and get people excited about what you're doing, you're hosting a Harvest Open House. Mm -hmm. So what do you have Indeed. planned? We have over two dozen uh, hands-on activities, uh, booths throughout the event. And it's really for families, people of all ages, to come and enjoy the hands-on activities that we've got to learn about crop sciences. And this is not the first time you've hosted this event. We're looking here at some pictures of years past. Mm -hmm. So what has the response been um, from the community to your event? We were tickled with the turnout last year. We had over 300 people come and many of them spent all day. It goes from 10 to four. Um, I expected people to come for a couple of hours. Some families just stayed for the entire six hours. Well, there must have been a lot to do. There and was. we've got one example of the activities. So walk us through what this activity is and what they're going to learn and take away. Okay, I teach vegetable gardening um, on campus, Hort 105, and one of our activities is microgreens. Kind of a hip, kind of a um, new th newer thing on the market. And this is some of the finished product. They are, just little seedlings. This one is kale and this is a mix of some other things, but we're going to show how you can grow this at home and people can come and make one with us and my Hort 105 students at the open house. So what is this base that we're starting with? Because that does not look like your typical soil. No, this is actually made from hemp. So it's hemp hmm. fiber. You, people could substitute paper towel at home too, but we're using hemp, these hemp squares and we're gonna wet it just a little bit. It takes a little, it doesn't want to soak in right away, so you kind of have to coax it a little <laughs> bit. But it should be, when you're when it's wet enough, it should be like a wrung out, wrung out dishcloth. Okay. So that's too much water, so what we'll do is pour some of that back there in. There you go. Oops. And then do you eat these like salad or? Yeah, you're not exactly going to sit down with a big bowl of them, <laughs> but you would be like, no? like adding to a salad or putting it on oh. a sandwich. Um, okay. A wrap or something Yeah, maybe. a wrap would be really good. One of my students put it on tacos and said it was amazing. Right. They have a lot of flavor and they have concentrated nutrients. That's the big advantage like compared to kale that's full grown versus kale in microgreen form. The microgreens have more um, more nutrients. Okay, and then we've got our seeds here. So yeah. they're really tiny. I know they're they probably can't tiny. see them so there at home. So you're just gonna take a teaspoon is all it takes oh. and just sprinkle it across okay. the top. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And then are we going to have to put anything on top of this? No, you're just going to close it. And yes, our little greenhouse is technically a sandwich container, but well, that's you know, perfect. you make it work. Very um, good. And then how long before we start to see the magic happen? Probably tomorrow. What? Yes, so you can have this one and take it. And oh my goodness. Yeah, by tomorrow morning, you'll probably see some seeds starting to grow. And these I started exactly a week ago. Wow. So, oh yeah. my goodness. Then will they keep reproducing or once you trim it and eat once it? Once you trim it and eat it, it's gone. Okay. But all you need to do is take scissors and just trim out what you want to use. And it's kind of nice. It stays a little fresher yes. this way. You just have to keep it watered. Do we put it in the fridge? No, I would keep it in kind of a bright light, not necessarily okay. direct sun, but keep some light on it, keep it watered, and you can see as it's growing, the roots go there right they through are. it. You can compost this uh, mat when it's done. Very good. Okay, this is just one example of the hands-on yeah. activities that you have planned for your Harvest Open House. Let's kind of remind everybody when it is and mm -hmm. where it is. So it's on Saturday, September 30th from 10 to 4. Uh, at the Agronomy Seed House, 2102 South Wright Street in Urbana. Is this a free event or is there some kind of admission fee to get in? Perfectly free. Very good. Well, great opportunity to come and um, do some hands-on learning with your kids. Get them excited about all of the developments in agriculture. And we appreciate you um, sharing this. This is going to be a fun time. If you want to learn more about the upcoming Harvest Open House, connect with them on Facebook. We of course have their website um, that we'll share at saliving.tv after today's show for you to learn more. Um, but we appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Thank you.